Hi, Gloria Donahue with Nana's Cookery. Welcome to the kitchen and let's talk parchment. Parchment paper, I think, has just been a huge benefit, particularly to the baker. I happen to get it in, in big sheets because my sister bought a huge, huge commercial pack and gave me quite a few of them because she knows I use them. You can also buy it in a roll. You can also buy it in some preformed uh, circles for layer cakes. I think the roll makes more sense because that way you can cut it to whatever you want, whereas the ones that are already pre-cut into a circle are sort of limited in their use. Uh, I like them particularly for cakes and cookies. And you have seen me, when I bake a cake and it's going to be turned out from a 13 by 9 pan or a layer cake, uh, from a round pan or, or an 8 by 8 pan or a 9 by 9 pan, uh, I put the pan down on top of the parchment paper, go around it with a marker, and I cut within that marker. So the marker is not going to go anywhere near the food or anything because the inside of that pan is going to be smaller than the outside. So you might have to trim it a little bit to make it fit. So then grease and flour your pan and put that parchment paper on the bottom and you'll find that your, your cake will just come out so much easier. And then you just peel that parchment right off and dispose of it. I like it particularly for cookies because for cookies, I never grease cookie sheets. I don't care what the, uh, what the instructions say. I just use a piece of parchment paper instead. Now, when cookies come out of the oven, you want to remove them, but often they're too soft. They're done, they're ready, but they're too hot and you can't really lift them off the cookie sheet. And if you wait too long, sometimes you find, oh my gosh, it, won't, it doesn't want to release. It doesn't want to come off the sheet. Well, with parchment paper, cook it on parchment paper, slip the whole parchment paper to a rack to cool, and then you take them off when they're cool and they're ready. And I have literally never had a problem with it that way. So it's particularly wonderful for cookies. Uh, another thing I use it for, I tend to cook a lot of things because there's only two of us, and I, but I cook in larger quantities. Uh, you've seen me maybe, there's a new video, manicotti, I do that, I do eggplant parmesan, I do many things that I cut into smaller servings and I like to put them on a rack, uh, on a tray and freeze them before I vacuum pack them because they'll, they won't exude as much moisture into that vacuum. So parchment is wonderful for that. Put the parchment on the tray, put whatever it is on it, it will not stick to the parchment when you go to, to remove it it comes off easily. I really like it a lot for that. The other thing I really like it for is candy. I make what they call uh, turtles and that's like caramel covered, uh, caramel with pecans and then chocolate on top. And when I first did it, it was a regular caramel recipe and I thought, oh, I'll make turtles. And oh, what should I form them on? And I formed it on wax paper. What a mistake. The caramel literally grabbed onto the wax paper and it ruined the candy. I had to you know, basically scrape it off. Parchment paper, absolutely no problem. Lay a parchment paper over a cookie sheet, put whatever candies or anything it is you're making, do not worry. It will firm up it, it will not stick to the parchment. The other thing that we see parchment used for, I don't do it very often, but I know other people do, and that is to make packets for dinner. Maybe a little piece of meat and some vegetables or some fish, and then in a parchment, you wrap it all up and then you cook it, and then each one opens their own. So that's, that's a great way to enjoy it. But I really highly recommend parchment, especially for the baker. I think you really will enjoy using it. Thanks again for visiting the kitchen. Bye-bye.